What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel over here at Flores Clan Media and today we got a very special episode, episode 24. We're dedicating this one to Kobe Bean Bryant, the late great Kobe. Um, and today we're going to be talking about sneakers. So in the previous episode I did jerseys and today I'm going to be going over my sneaker collection. So what I got up first is, I'm going to switch these. So um, my brother actually probably showed you guys this one too. But this is going to be a Air Jordan 9 Kobe PE. So I can't remember if these dropped prior or after uh, Kobe Bryant's passing, unfortunate passing. But this is a very sick shoe that came out. Um, personally, I do not like the Jordan 9s, but I just had to add it to my collection because of the whole Kobe inspired theme. Uh, I believe Kobe's PE actually had an 8. And overall, really nice shoe. Um, this one is more memorable towards me for LeBron James when he first came to LA. He actually rocked these to, I believe it was a Travis Scott concert. So really sick shoe. That's a little bit of history on that one. So put it back in the box. Next up, I have the Air Jordan 17 Pluses. So these are pretty sick shoe. A little bit just on the shoe, just copper finish, Italian alligator finish. And this shoe was rocked by Kobe a few times during um, the season he was a sneaker free agent. But for me, the reason I really like this, I remember there was an iconic moment where Kobe goes baseline left, and then the person meeting him at the rim is Yao Ming. And you know, Yao Ming was what, like seven foot two, seven foot three, and Kobe elevates above him and throws it down. So when they re-released this shoe, I had to pick it up. I remember, it actually wasn't that sought out for, but I did have to drive all the way to San Jose, California from where I lived in order to pick them up. But they threw them on hold for me at a shoe palace. So always, always keep these. Um, I rock them now and then, but I try to keep them clean. All right, next up, I got a pair of Kobe's non-signature line shoe, and that is uh, Mamba Focus. So this is one of the actual last shoes that Nike produced with a Kobe tag before they recently re-upped the contract with Kobe. Vanessa came to agreements with them, so they're going to be reproducing the Kobe line soon, so I'm really excited about that. But this shoe is just kind of like a real low-end basketball shoe, but this shoe retailed like, I forget, I think it retailed for 100 but I remember at the outlets they were sitting for 40 bucks, and that's why I picked them up, but after he uh, passed away... A lot of people were picking these up and selling them for like 150 to 200 which I thought was crazy for this kind of baseline model. But overall, I saw mine in really good condition. R rarely wear them. Um, I don't really play too much anymore. So yeah, that's that one. Uh, next up, I do not have the original box for these anymore, but these are the Nike Kobe AD. Technically, there's two sets of 80s. These were the second ones, and this is just the team colorway through East Bay, black and white. Pretty solid shoe. Uh, it goes back to the mids, but um, just wasn't my favorite, but I just kept them just because of the whole Kobe thing. So that's the next shoe on the list. Now I'm moving into more of my kind of uh, favorite shoes. I used to have a bunch of Kobe signature lines, but when I was playing basketball, I would always burn through them. So these are all I have left. Um, first one up right here is one of the sicker shoes. This is the Kobe 9, and this is the Bruce Lee colorway. So Kobe was a huge Bruce Lee fan. Um, I just think he really liked his mindset. And so that was, I think, the Enter the Dragon, the scar marks. And Kobe rocked this pair a lot in his final year, except for his were a little bit different because the... Um, the lining was actually purple, the tongue was purple, and then he did a purple version of the, the scars. So that was really sick. If I could pick these up again, I would probably want to do a custom like that. And I actually had three pairs, well this being the third pair. I had the Achilles version, which I gave to um, a family friend who played basketball who uh, didn't really have sneakers, so I passed them on to them. And I had the Aces, which I gave to my nephew, and both of them being young guys, couldn't afford shoes, I kind of passed them on. and. Kind of sucks not having them, but that's kind of like that Kobe thing to do, I would think, where he's promoting the game of basketball. So even though it's a loss, it's not really a loss. All right, next up, I have the Kobe 9 
Black History Month edition and these are the high top version of it. So this was a shoe that came out after Kobe had torn his Achilles in the Kobe 8. And the Kobe 8 was notorious for a bunch of different reasons, but this Kobe 9 was really nice. And I believe Kobe took the inspiration from boxing shoes. And that's why they are so high up. Obviously, he wanted to protect his Achilles. But Kobe was really innovative in his designs. He was really smart. He would always follow trends through other sports. And that's what I liked about Kobe. His mindset just to be better was just like off the hook. Like he's thinking about other sports in order to improve his game. And this colorway is super sick. Black on one side, white on the other. And it has the... Uh, um, Kobe 9 and all right here it has progress on the inside lining obviously Black History Month making progress uh, kind of getting that message across and yeah this is one of my favorite shoes I know a lot of people in the weightlifting community at the time purchased these because uh, they like them for uh, that reason and I believe a lot of like I said boxers and wrestlers would use these too so really sick shoe all right, next up is my personal favorite, uh, my high school shoe. I actually had these custom, but I burned through those, like I said, at that time. I wasn't really thinking about collecting. I was just more into playing, and that is the Kobe 4. These were the pops back in the day when they originally released, but now they're just white maize and what else do they got on them? Del Sol. And yeah, this is this colorway, at least it still came in kind of my uh, high school variant colors or variation colors so still like them um, this pair I've actually played a good amount you can't really see but they're kind of creased but in order to um, fix that I actually purchase a second pair I just have a bunch of stuff wrapped in you know, stock Xbox oh wait no I didn't bring them I left them over there actually I'll show you next but I do have two pairs so I'm lucky enough to have doubled up and yeah, this is my favorite all-time Kobe shoe. And last but not least is a pair of Kobe ones. My brother showed you the original ones, but these are the Pro Tro version. That was actually the Pro Tro 4. And this is the 81 uh, point game colorway. So obviously Kobe went off against the uh, freaking Toronto Raptors. And um, I believe when this originally came out, they only made I want to say 81 pairs, but I could be wrong. Could have been like a thousand, but uh, Nike re-released them when these came out. Really, really nice shoe. Uh, this is one of the few Nike shoes that LeBron has worn on the court that wasn't his signature model. He actually rocked these um, the first game after Kobe's passing. So really sick shoe. But all right, guys, thanks for sticking with me through all this talking. Like, comment, subscribe. If you guys like Kobe's shoes, let us know which one's your favorite in the comments. And we'll see y'all next time. Peace.